important of themselves. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator Warner. Senator uh, Tillis from North Carolina is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Dr. Amarova, thank you for being here. Uh, you know, I'd plan to spend my entire time uh, providing or giving some questions. I probably will get to some of the questions that Senator Warner and Tester did on the uh, Senate Bill 2155, but in light of comments made even by the, the prior senator, members of this committee, and certain members of the press, I want to make a few things crystal clear. Republican concerns with this nominee are directly tied solely to your extensive written record, period, full stop. With the exception of some of the comments that uh, my friend and colleague, Senator Kennedy, made, I think that we've tried to focus on what we believe are legitimate policy differences and maybe academic differences. But an article ran yesterday in the New York <clears throat> Magazine claims that any opposition, and it's been said in this committee to Dr. Amarava, is modern day McCarthyism. It's telling of the journalistic quality of the article, which purports to explain Republican opposition to you, that it only quotes Amarova supporters while failing to include a single interview on the record or a comment from a Republican member of this committee regarding our actual views. Comments and, and, and or innuendo made in the article, and even this hearing today, simply <clears throat> implies concerns with Dr. Amarova's nomination are due to, and I have to say, Dr. Amarova, you've said it yourself, to being an immigrant, a woman, and a minority, which I think are categorically false. I've hired women, I've hired immigrants, I've hired minorities, people of different gender identities, and I believe that many of my colleagues really reject that premise. Chairman Brown is reportedly livid that Republicans wish to ask about your written record and worldview, saying it's remarkable that we have stooped so low. I think it's remarkable that members of this committee are now chastised by the chair for expressing concerns over ideas repeated in numerous papers written by Dr. Amarova. The New York Magazine does get one thing right. It notes that the FDIC chair, Helena McWilliams, a female immigrant who came to the United States from then communist Yugoslavia, did not face questioning about her upbringing in a communist state during her nomination. I have no intention of doing that either, nor have most of the members of this committee. That's because nothing in Chair McWilliams' prior career speeches, policy writings, indicated she would bring a central planning, technocratic worldview to her position, as we infer from some of your writings and public statements. Dr. Amarova, on the other hand, has an extensive written record in that vein. I appreciate the New York Magazine's article help clarifying, helping clarify that point. As I did with Chair McWilliams, I will solely consider the content of your qualifications, your career, and your written records. And should Dr. Romarava feel that bipartisan reservations with her record expressed by sitting senators on both sides of the aisle are truly and her being an immigrant, a woman, and a minority, do you believe that to be the basis for any of the questions that have been asked for you today, of you today? Well, Senator, I am a woman, I am a minority, and I am an immigrant. That is who I am. Mm -hmm. I cannot speak to anyone's personal reasons or professional reasons but you've at, so least said it, you've at least said it once that perhaps that was our motivation. But um, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find any evidence today of that being the motivation of someone who may be concerned with your view, your academic writing, some of which you've said were just academic thoughtware, not necessarily something you wanted to put into practice. But I just don't see any basis for the so-called McCarthyism and the, uh, the bias that members of this committee uh, have suggested is our motivation. I'm gonna go real quick. I am gonna go to a second round. Uh, I do have a question about your thesis. I know that ranking member asked for your thesis about seven weeks ago. Uh, it was not provided. It was not provided as of the deadline. 
It's been included on your resume since 2017. You said you forgot about it the day after you wrote it. Um, but, but why is it that you have, have not responded to this committee and only recently said that, that it's because you can no longer find it? <clears throat> Sorry, Senator. So this was an undergraduate paper I wrote about 32, 33 years ago in a system where there was absolutely no academic freedom. We had to write what we had to write in order to get our diplomas. It did not reflect my views then. It does not reflect my views now. I never thought that it would be such an important thing 33 years later. So when I, in 1991, was packing my one suitcase to come to America, it simply did not even occur to me to look up for, uh, to look up some typewritten version of some mandatorily assigned paper. Mm -hmm. So I didn't bring it with me. It was never published. It was never meant to be published. Uh, Mr. Chair, I, just as, a, as a, a brief comment, I, um, for somebody who's lost uh, family members <clears throat> in, the, uh, in the time that she was young, for somebody who was growing up in Russia, I would think that some of the decisions that Dr. Omarava may have made back at the time had as much to do with survival as anything else. And so I don't have any concern with where she came from. You can't pick where you were born and you chose the greatest nation on earth to become a citizen. My concerns are not with her background. I believe she did what so many people in the Soviet Union had to do to survive, but I have grave concerns with the policy positions and the idea that someone in such a powerful role could carry those forward and ultimately make them something that I believe could destroy the banking institutions in the United States. And I will be around for a second round. Um, thank you, Senator Tillis. The committee, uh, there's a, a stop time of, of noon, so we'll play this out and hope we get to that.